What is going on, guys? Skip here, and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today, we are back with some white ball cricketers. Pijma in the three lines take on the Aussies down at Lords. If you have joined us for the last couple of episodes, you would have seen that this World Cup is very, very tight. As we have a quick look at the table, you can see that from first all the way down to the Aussies there in eighth, even the Bangladeshis at nine. If you slip up and miss a couple of games, your spot is going to be covered. So hopefully Pish can get himself right. He has missed a couple of games through injury. This game has not been our best friend the last couple of weeks, but hey, we are here, ready to rock and roll, fit and firing and ready to take on the Aussies. That's enough from us at the menus, ladies and gents. I'll catch us all at the toss. If you do enjoy your Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll take a Fifer in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description so make sure you click on in, come and say g'day and let's continue to put cricket back on the map. So here we are ladies and gents welcome to Lords for this seventh game in the Three Lions World Cup campaign and it is time to turn it on. We've got that stacked lineup, Wayno and Malto out in the middle officiating this one. The crowd are rolling in, the Aussies have it all to do. The coin goes up, heads is a call, tails never fails. The English get the job done. And on a medium grassy wicket, Pijma's going to think twice about this. We're going to get the white pill. Tell the Aussies to go and put the pads on and bring home a W. So here we go. First ball of the match. Pijma's got the white rock in his mitts and we are ready to go. Curtis Patterson faces up as Pij is in and he whips it forward a square for a dot ball. Now, hopefully no repeat of last match. We batted first, ran out the tank, and ultimately got injured in the end as we find the edge from Patterson. He picks up four through second slip. Well, there we have it. We're finding the edges using this green top early. We're into our work as Patterson pushes forward to the man on the ring, and he takes a picket fence. Generally speaking, the Aussies are quite aggressive against us. We're going to hang one wide here. He does. He slashes. He misses. And Pijma's up in his pits. You go and garden that wicket, brother. In for the last of the first. He's over. He dabs it down to third man. Cheeky shot at 150 clicks. That concludes the first. And the Aussies are six for none. Well, you'd hope that we've made the right decision here, throwing the Aussies in early doors as we get in for the first of our second, and Patterson's feeling. The one thing we can do is manage our output. We roll into street. He's back. He's slashing again to the man at point. All right. Well, he looks comfortable on the back, Todd. How about 155k Yorker at the toes? Oh, thank you very much. We've found the edge. Double bluff. Molto's got his finger up and Pishman's back in the wickets. That is delicious cricket. Well, you can review it all you want, but the pig Pish has struck. A couple of short ones, a fuller one. Betty Stokes at second slip and Bryce is off having a cup of tea. It's one for 11. Well, welcome aboard Mackenzie Harvey's first look at Lords against the fired up Red Dog. He rolls in for the last of his second. He's on the shins. He whips him square. It concludes the third in the Aussie State 11 for one. Well, boy, oh boy, that makes me feel a lot better about life as we come in for over number three and Patterson wants to try that dinky winky get out of it, son. A good length ball. We've got the white ball swinging as well as we're in to the left-hander and Harvey wants to slash to cover. We give ourselves a fourth over. Certainly need a rest after this. We try the bumper and Mackenzie Harvey takes it on. Takes a picket fence down a fine leg. Need to be watchful. Patterson wants to get on with it. 18 off 19. The slower ball. Yorker gets punched through mid on. Doesn't quite get all of it, but might have enough to come back for three. They do. This will be the last ball of Pijma's spell. He needs a break. The last of the seventh. He's round the wicket. Looks to loft over cover. Patterson, one in, one bounce to the man at extra. Seven overs, Bowden. She's 31 for one. A quick blow it was, and we're in for the 23rd. 115 for two. We keep the field up to the right-hander, and we're on a dime straight away to McSweeney. 
22.2 bold. McSweeney's off to a good start. We take some pace off the ball and he's up -ish to mid off. One ball we don't quite go to enough is the cross seamer. Can we get one to spit out? No, he lets it through the keeper, you coward. Halfway through our allotted overs. Can we still hoop it? Oh, yes, we do. He punches it to mid on a maiden over in the 23rd. 115 for two. It's the difference between the good and the greats. Who can adjust the quickest? We're into Patterson. He dinks again down to third man. Nice little game of cat and mouse between these two here. The last of our six. Going to try the bumper here with square leg up. He takes it on. He finds a man forward to square. Another amazing over 25 done. And she's 121 for two. Another quick blow for the big fella. He's got absolutely nothing left in the tank. We're just going to try slower balls here, but that doesn't look good as McSweeney bangs that through midwicket and picks up a boundary. So just the four men out in the ring. We've changed the field here. Very leg side as we use that angle and he tucks it down to fine leg. Brings up the 200 for the Aussies. The chase is going to be on, ladies and gents. Another quick adjustment. Backward square's gone backward, backward. Midwicket's in and Carey takes it on again with that catcher on Molto's toes. He's a smart captaincy here. The time has come. McSweeney gets to 50. Short ball, slower. Ducking. Is it down leg side or is that a good dot ball? Wayne, I look after us. No. And this might affect our batting. It's been an over so far. Can we get out of it? Oh, no, we can't. He top edges this one for four. Taste of our own medicine here. We've managed to get out the over relatively okay, I think. Last of the eight sees Carey hit this one into his pad. A dot ball, 40 bold, and she's 217 for four. We roll in for the last of our allotted overs. Glennie Maxwell on strike. We go the Yorker inside edge. He takes the picket fence. The Aussies are just swinging. She's going to be a chase. In comes Pidgey. Gets launched over cover. Not the length you want to bowl. And a maximum to the men from down under. Good hitting. They've been hit for a couple of sixes. 65 off the 9.3. Maxwell loads up. He doesn't get all of it. Just the one out to the man at mid-wicket. Good bowl and Pishma. And two balls left in the over. Not a chance McSweeney's getting a ton. He whips this off his legs down a fine. Does he pick up four? No, he doesn't. Well fielded. The men come back for a couple. Oh boy, that saved our figures. Must be honest, we haven't tried the leg cutter. We're in for the last of our 10th. We get launched through cover this time. McSweeney is having a field day. He picks up four to finish our spell. 46 bold and the Aussies have got plenty. And there we had it. The Aussies finished their innings after 50 on 305 for eight. Pishma picking up the one for going for plenty in the end. McSweeney getting the 91 off 81. Keeping his boys alive in this World Cup. And here we go. We're going to pick up play in the 12th over. The Pommies are 60 for one. Pishma's got it all to do ahead of him if they want to cement this spot in the top four. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gents. The big dog's getting them home. And out he comes to play. 750s, 200s, and an average of 69. Feeling fine. Tanvir Sanger, the spinner, is in to the attack. Harry Brook, 33 off 35 as Pidge gets the slider on his shins and he clips it back with a square for one. We say this time and time again. Hopefully, Harry Brook can tee off here and make our job easy. As Cam Green's in, he's nice and full, and we're wedging this to the man at mid off. No run. We weren't on a green wicket. We'd normally be batting out of our crease. Just want to give ourselves some time here and wait for balls like that. We can find the sweepers. We can pick up runs and just ease our way into this one. Tanvir, one for 21. Certainly does get hit, and he's going to bowl rocks like that. Pijma's going to exploit, and that's exactly what he's done. He uses the long square boundaries and gets himself a deuce. Well, he's either going to have to change his line or do something different because Pidgey's going to stand and sweep all day. You can see the fatigue's already set in, though. We can't hit this thing off the fucking square. Well, here we go. Paddy Cummins in for his first over. 14 overs deep as well. 73 for one. Round the wicket length ball. Pijma likes that pace. Dot to the man at mid-off. 
Hazelwood being economical. He rolls into Pidge. We step across. Look to yep. launch over square leg. We get the leading edge, and we don't mind it, though. It goes straight over the stumps. Wayno's out the way, and we pick up another couple. Bit of a quieter start. 87 for one. Cummins over the wicket. Juicy gap. Leg side, and Pidge gets on the front, Todd, to the red ball, and bangs it through mid-wicket for his first boundary. Yeah, I'd be complaining too, Paddy. A fast bouncer, Pish meets it on the up and says, thank you very much. Give me four of the best at Lords. So that brings midwicket into position. Square leg goes a little further behind. We step across. Bouncer again. This time we hit it at the gloves. We call Harry Brook through. Take the single beautiful cricket. 17 bold and she's 92 for one. Hazelwood rolling in. Looks like they want to get short to Pish. They do again this time. He plays and misses. A little bit of the same tactic we used against the Aussies. Length ball goes through him again. Certainly feeling the pressure. Offside field comes up. We trigger out legs. So I get the half volley we want. We pierce the gap. No, just enough to get through for one. The 100 comes up, but Harry Brook goes out. Ollie Pope fresh to the wicket. McSweeney the spinner in as Pish sweeps again. Gets nothing on it, and Ollie Pope just gets home. Well, I've absolutely no idea how we're going to get the ball to the boundary here. Pishma has nothing in the tank. McSweeney in. We reverse sweep. You can see we can't even get the ball off the fucking square. You'd think with 220 centimetres of height, he'd be able to muscle a few over the fence. He gets forward this time, and he three greens just see him get it out of the ring. Boy, this is going to be a mountain. Got to get Ollie Pope in and around it. As Pish just nurdles the ball around into gaps. Now, can we come back for two here? Twinkle toes run, son. Twinkle toes run, son. Yes, he gets home. Well, there might not be too many boundaries, but boy, we're going to try and find some gaps. Sweeney in, sweeping late. It's almost one of those innings where you've got to get to over 45 and just be there for the boys and hopefully see them through as you pick up another one. The 30 overs done, 159 for three. Ollie Pope out, Benny Stokes with us. Maxwell in, reverse Malacca goes well and the boys set off for another single. Well, perfect timing for Captain Paddy to roll in. None for 20 off three. The big fella's on 49. It's kind of crept up on a series. He goes short and Pish almost kicks that onto his stumps. Well, it's a good battle, this. Stokes doing the job 29 of 27. Can we just get to 50? Cummins length ball. He whips this one back with a square. Does he come back for two on the arm? No, he doesn't need to. 180 for three. And the big fella's got another milestone. Well, normally there's a few big shots in a 50, but today it's a little bit different. Just the grind against the Aussies. Cummins in, lengthens up, leading edge, finds the man on the ring, and he's through for yet another one. Stokesy making this look easy. 45 off 40. Mitchie Stark we get our first look at. Is he's close to Malto. We check our shot to the man on the ring and we're home easy. Take a bow. We've barely faced a rock and he has turned this Lord's crowd beautifully as we get the schnick down to the boundary. Have some fun, big fella. Thank you very much. Suck on that, you dog. Man, was I getting frustrated. Pity patter. The bloke can't hit the ball off the square. Can we pick up more edges? No, we hit this one along the carpet. We call Stokes back for two. It's long down there at Lords, and he gets his V8s out. Good running. Stokes couldn't quite get to three figures. He's out, and now she's 36 off 33. As Stark's in, he's starting to get this one to tail, but Pishma's on the money. Can he come back for a couple? He does. Just get there, get there, get there. Good running. Well, the runner ball with six wickets in hand. You should get these ones home, Pish. That's why you're the captain. 70 off 75. Again, Stark is full. We're not timing any of that. And Joss has got the V8s out as well. And he's through for two more. Well, not too many boundaries in this, but we're almost going at a runner ball. That's what we love to see. Stark short, Pish checks. And again, down the ground. Can Joss come back? Make this one easier for the boys. Yes, he does.
So one last crack for the Aussies with spin. McSweeney none for 15. Pidge looking to sweep. He does short mid wicket in. And back flick's not working. Three off 17. Joss is the man with the plan. Short ball sees Pidge get forward. Hits it to the sweeper out there. And that could well and truly be game over, ladies and gents. And that it is. England chase the Aussies 305 with ease. Getting it done by six wickets. Benny Stokes, the man with the plan. A good 80 or 90 to get the boys back into it. Get the dub for England and keep their spot firmly cemented in the top four. As he goes to speak to Pedo, Justin Timberlake, we don't care about that. What we care about is the three lines getting the dub. 47.3 overs it took. Pijma, 76 not out off 82. I don't care what you say about it. He wasn't dismissed. The big fella put in a shift. He played a role. Let the other fellas take over for once and cements the spot in the finals. Well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. It was another frustrating one, no doubt, for the big fella with both bat and ball. We picked up one early and we copped a little bit of tap around Lords. And with the Batman running out of fatigue and barely being able to hit the ball off the square, it is frustrating, but he wasn't dismissed. He got himself a cheeky 76 not out and England continue on with the job. If you have enjoyed it, mate, Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you swing over and catch one of our streams over on Twitch as well. But until the next time, ladies and gents, look after yourselves and those around you. And we'll catch us in the next one.